Group Policy Group policy is a method of controlling what your users and computers can or cannot do. Configuring group policy at our site, domain or OU level enables an administrator to configure settings that can filter down to all of the computers in your enterprise and then control things like security, file and folder permissions and even the way a user's desktop appears. In Windows 2003 there's been a few changes to group policy, namely the group policy management console which is new to Windows 2003 and is available as a free download from Microsoft. Now one of the biggest problems with group policy in Windows 2000 is that it can be difficult in the complex hierarchies of OUs and policies to determine what the final policy that a client will actually receive. Now Windows 2003 addresses this problem by providing the resultant set of policy or RSOP. Now this enables you to select a particular user and find out exactly what the end result of a user having these policies will be. Also in Windows 2003 we can use logging and planning modes to test and simulate the effects of group policy application on users and computers in our environment. And we can also use group policy to install software and prevent certain applications or files with certain extensions from being run. Now group policy objects or GPOs can either be local or non-local. With local policies the policy is stored locally on each computer whether the computer is part of the Active Directory domain or not and it only affects the computer on which the local policy is stored. Whereas non-local group policy objects are created in Active Directory and they're linked to an OU, a site or a domain in order to be applied to computers. Okay, so let's start with taking a brief look at local group policy objects. 